Understanding business requirements, integrating them with technology and serving as a link between multiple stakeholders are all part of business analyst responsibilities. Business analyst job profiles are pretty profitable and have a lot of potential and reward well. So in this video, we are covering introduction to business analyst and fundamental questions. After that, technical questions on business analyst. Before moving forward, please make sure you subscribe to Simply Learn's YouTube channel and press the bell icon to never miss any updates. Coming to fundamental questions, first question is, who are the stakeholders and types of stakeholders? A stakeholder is a person or a group who have vested interest in the ongoing project. He or she will be affected by the pace and result of the projects. Coming to stakeholders, there are three types of stakeholders. One is primary stakeholders, second one is secondary stakeholders and key stakeholders. Next is what is the role of the business analyst? This is the fundamental question that every interviewer can ask. Business analysts have a key role in the organization performing financial operations. They are indirectly responsible for creating economic growth in the organization. The action and decision taken by the business analyst will impact on the growth of the organization. This is the most frequently asked question. Can you list out the skills you have as a business analyst? So the answer is, as a business analyst, we must be able to understand the business objective, good communication skill, database knowledge, SQL for the analysis of data and maintaining it. Non-technical skill includes documentation, management skill and requirement analysis. Business analyst is responsible for creating reports and dashboards. So we need Jira, Microsoft SQL and Power BI in this technique. Next is what is SWOT analysis and give a business application example. For this, SWOT analysis is necessary in every field. It is important term for the success of any business. First of all, SWOT analysis stands for strengths, weakness, opportunity and threats. It is the duty of a business analyst to create a strategy for the organization based on the result of SWOT analysis. As a business analyst, we need to take care of SWOT analysis in each and every project. Coming to business application of SWOT analysis, we can take up Amazon as an example. Coming to strength, powerful brand recognition, variety of products and its reach, Amazon has 26% market share in e-commerce. Weakness, issues with mid-level business, product failures, tax avoidance, controversy in countries like US, UK and Japan, related to taxation, etc. Opportunity. Amazon has the opportunity to expand its operation capability for more acquisition. Coming to threats, Amazon has faced a lot of controversies in recent years. It is facing a lot of government trials in crucial countries like Iran, Cuba and North Korea. Circumstances of cyber crimes are increasing day by day as it affects network security of the company. Next is one of the hypothetical question that can be asked in any interview. How will you tackle difficult stakeholder? Dealing with difficult stakeholder is a skill. Difficult stakeholder is a person who holds difficulty in understanding the project or pace of it. So first of all, listen to the stakeholder carefully and then deal with the problem. Coming to technical questions, list out different stages in SDLC. SDLC is an acronym that stands for Software Development Life Cycles. Sometimes it is also called System Development Life Cycle or Application Development Life Cycle. It is used to describe the process of planning, creating, testing and deployment of an information system. So what is the role of business analyst in SDLC? Business analysts play an important role in requirement analysis. He gathers data from customers and then send it to the product development team. So it has five important phases. First one is planning. Then comes requirement analysis. Here the role of business analyst is very important. And third is design, implementation and last is maintenance of the product. 
नेक्स्ट इज वॉट इज यू एम एल मॉडलिंग यू एम एल और यूनिफाइड मॉडलिंग लैंग्वेज इज ए जनरल पर्पज डेवलपमेंटल मॉडलिंग लैंग्वेज दट प्रोवाइड्स अ स्टैंडर्ड वे टू एनविजन द सिस्टम इट इज यूज टू रैशनलाइज द सिस्टम बिहेवियर फॉर द डिटेक्शन एंड एलिमिनेशन ऑफ द एरर वॉट इज प्रोसेस डिजाइन प्रोसेस डिजाइन इज द क्रिएशन ऑफ अ प्रोसेस टू अचीव स्पेसिफिक ऑब्जेक्टिव इट इन्वॉल्व the specifying of operating conditions raw materials equipment and other aspects of the process process design also includes the determination of desired output levels process flow diagrams and other process characteristics what are the essential qualities of an agile business analyst agile is a very famous methodology nowadays every company uses agile methodology for the implementation of this project an agile business analyst is someone who understands the agile methodology and is able to help a team work within that framework they need to be able to communicate effectively be organized and have a strong attention to detail they should also be able to work well under pressure and be able to adapt changes quickly next comes what is feasibility study A feasibility study is a thorough analysis of a proposed project that considers all elements essential to success in order to determine the project chances of success. Next question is what is invest? I N V E S T. Explain it. This is the favorite question for every interviewer in a business analyst interview. Independent, negotiable, valuable, estimable, sized appropriately and testable are all letters that stand for invest business analyst and project managers use this phrase to refer to the provision of high quality services and goods provided to the clients what is the contribution of a business analyst in an organization business analysts are responsible for closing the gap between it and the business by evaluating processes identifying requirements and delivering data driven suggestions and reports to executives and stakeholders requirement management is the crucial role of a business analyst the business analyst job is to sustain needs through ongoing change in the complicated modern corporate environment by applying innovation Why do you prefer Kano analysis and how is it helpful It is a quality management tool that aids companies in determining the wants and need of their clients As we have already mentioned business analyst plays an important role in requirement analysis He is responsible for gathering all the data required to create a product so he is the base of every company in it can be applied to enhance marketing tactics consumer satisfaction and product development dr noriaki kano a japanese expert in quality management created the kano model in the 1980s what are the tools used by business analyst jira and confluence you might have heard about jira and confluence the collaboration tools jira and confluence are very effective to collaborate effectively on projects and share requirements Every business analyst has to be at least familiar with Jira. By using platforms like Jira and Confluence, all business stakeholders may engage with various teams and view the status of their project. Trello. Trello is a project management platform that business use for teamwork and task organization. Trello is a project management platform that business use to by dividing the work into columns on a board it enables you to manage your projects and efforts by dividing complicated projects into smaller more manageable and re- reliable chunks of labor this helps to simplify and standardize your work next is microsoft visio project management as business modeling are two areas where microsoft visio excels it may be used to make data models project timelines process flow charts use case diagrams and many more next comes google docs google docs provides you with templates for business research business analyst may share and collaborate on documents effectively using google docs with the use of google docs many business analysts can communicate with stakeholders about any kind of file or document next is what is srs explain it 
SRS stands for Software Requirement Specification. It is a collection of documents describing the feature of the application. It holds the requirements of the stakeholders in the project. The critical aspects of SRS are scope of work, non-functional and functional requirements, data model, dependencies, assumptions and constraints and acceptance criteria. Next is what is BRD? The business requirement document is referred to as BRD. It is an official agreement between the company and the client for the creation of the particular product. BRD is a functional software specification but SRS is something that both business analysts write after having direct client contract. It contrasts to SRS which is designed based on technical skills and requirements. BRD is developed by a business analyst following their direct connection with the client. What is business modeling? Business modeling is a step-by-step -step approach for identifying the value proposition for operating the business. The key attributes of business modeling to develop strategic plan of an organization. Usually the strategic plan of an organization will be vision, mission, objectives, strategies and action plan. Next is what is gap analysis and what are the types of gap analysis? Gap analysis is the study of the functional gaps between a system that is now in use and the system that is being targeted. The difference denotes adjustment needed to achieve the desired outcome. The difference between a company's actual and projected earnings is known as profit gap. The difference between a company's actual and necessary worker strength is known as manpower gap. The discrepancy between expected and actual performances is known as performance gap. The difference between anticipated and actual sales is known as market gap. As a business analyst, you need to know about gap analysis. Business analyst will be calculating all these gaps like market gap, performance gap, manpower gap or it may be profit gap. Do you think a business analyst should be involved in the testing phase? There is no universally applicable response to this query because the extent of business analyst engagement in testing will vary depending on the particular project and company. However, in general, business analysts should participate in testing since they may offer insightful analysis of the requirement and guarantee that the finished product satisfies the demand of the business. What is BPMN? Business Process Model and Notation or BPMN is a widely used graphical notation for modeling business processes. BPMN was developed to give business users and technical developers a standard language to utilize for describing and communicating business processes. Important elements of BPMN are event. An accurate that triggers a process is called event. Next is gateway, a decision point of a process. Activity and data object. Information that is required or produced by an activity is called as data object. This is the most widely asked question. What is the difference between business analysis and business analytics? As an aspiring business analyst, we should always know about what is the difference between business analysis and business analytics. Business analysis and business analytics differ in a few important ways. While business analytics experts concentration on evaluating data to help decision making, business analysts typically focus on discovering opportunities and optimizing procedures. Business analysts also frequently come from backgrounds that are more business focused whereas business analytics specialists frequently have superior technological skills. Finally, while business analytics specialists may spend more time working with data, business analysts may collaborate more closely with business stakeholders to understand their need. Thus, we have listed important questions that are frequently being asked in business analyst interview questions. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching. Keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.